like as Harry mentioned, uh, you know, it's a key thing. What's motivated this individual? Is right. it part of a Another shooting, this one up in Oregon. Terror, is this going to turn out to be a false flag? Wants to talk about we'll it. see. It could be. You know, is it domestic terrorism? Is he part of some white agent? Wicked circle here. Is Check this shit out. Terrorism in support of ISIS or, you know, one of the other extremist groups like Al Qaeda. Um, or is it just a mentally ill person with gun or guns, um, you know, as we've seen in many instances. So uh, that's what has to be determined here. And of course, terrorism implies a greater conspiracy, more individuals involved, either in motivating him or actually involved. And this is something that the the FBI, the federal agencies, the state police. At least 10 people, people are dead. Be worried about is this so they say. Plan, let's say, for multiple individuals to attack college campuses or other soft targets today, tomorrow. You know, That's where it's at. So That's where it happened. There's a lot that goes into, do we just Oregon, have one Roseburg. lone, deranged individual that pulled this off, or is there more to it? Right. No, it's an excellent point. Uh, Tom Fuentes, stand by. Lori Andrews is on the phone with me now. Lori lives across the street from this community college. And Lori, let me just express my heartfelt you know, sorrow for, for what's happened here in your community. And, and secondly, uh, I, I don't know if you're inside your home or outside. Tell me what you're seeing, what you've heard. Uh, I'm inside my home now, but at first I just thought somebody had left over fireworks. Because it happens on the river all the time here. And I got on my desk, and then I started seeing police officers flying with sirens and lights, and they kept coming and kept coming and kept coming. So I walked up there to look, and I walked up to where everybody was, and they kept the students that were in Snyder Hall separate for a long time. And when they came out, some of the students told me that they think the shooter was shot, but he is in handcuffs. And he's alive. And uh, here we go. Mm. And we saw one girl wrapped in a blanket with blood on her. They took her. Uh. And I saw seven ambulances leave with lights and sirens. And I was told that they weren't going to remove the bodies until this campus was free. We don't know that yet. And Already uh, sounding kind of fishy. I'll keep you posted. I'll make another video later, but this smells hoaxy to me. Wicked Circle. Talk to you later. But you just described, you know, one student wrapped in a blanket and bloodied.